What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are installing new headlights on the EVO 10. I got some VLAN headlights, um, blacked out VLAN headlights to throw in the EVO and I'm super excited. Check it out. Oh, these look gorgeous. These are going to look so good on the black, on my EVO. It's because my EVO is black. It's just, ugh. I'm excited to put these in. Um, I got these on eBay. I'll link it down below in the description if you guys are interested. Um, all right, uh, let me show you guys. So basically what comes in the box is uh, your two pair of headlights, um, an instruction sheet and the wiring for, I guess you run it from the fuse to the headlights and they connect them both together for this sequential turn signal. Um, but we will uh, talk about that more as we start installing it. So, all right, let's go, uh, let's get started and I will stop talking. Check out my latest pickup on the on the figures I got. Kaioken Goku. Any Dragon Ball Z fans that actually sub or watch my videos? Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I thought, I don't know. <laughs> All right guys, I thought I'd show you the OEM headlights before I pull the front bumper off and the headlights and stuff like that. Um, OEM headlights, this is uh, 2013. I actually really like the OEM headlights. I just, I, the VLAN ones, the Audi style ones are just more aggressive and they just look, I think they look better. Um, the funny part is I feel like every Evo 10 owner buys the VLAN headlights. So, uh, so there's that, but I also feel like I rarely ever see any Evo owners to, in, to begin with all, in, in person. So, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. It's either people are either running their OEM headlights, the VLAN headlights, and I think one other different set of headlights, but yeah. All right. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick look. And all right, I'm going to pop the hood, get the, the front bumper off and get started. All right. I got the front bumper off, as you guys could see. Um, I believe it's just three bolts to get the headlights out. One, two, three. That'll be quick work. And then I check the fuse box and figure out where that the line goes to it uh, so we'll start i don't know I actually missed one more bolt there's one bolt here to the side of the headlight so you know come right out i've already taken the top ones out anyways guys i came back in the house i brought the headlight the past no sorry the driver's side headlight inside just because it's so freaking hot out in the garage and I thought why don't I just move everything over from that headlight to this headlight inside in the AC but take a look at that man this headlight just looks so good compared to that one the blackout housing oof I cannot wait but uh let's uh I'll show you what I gotta move over all right guys um I don't know where I left off um, it's actually been about a week since I started the original video for me when I was in like putting these headlights, these uh, VLAN headlights in. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what the last clip was. Uh, I guess I'll find out when I start editing. But uh, I decided to transfer the HIDs from my 2013 Evo 10 over to the VLAN ones, and actually I was looking up trying to figure out how to do that, and nobody. There was not a clear video on how to transfer your HIDs over to the VLAN headlights. Um, so I had to actually do a bunch of research, try to figure it out. Um, I've already done it on my driver's side. I've already transferred everything over. I did not have to cut or splice any of the wires. I actually um, ordered a bunch of adapters, uh, which is why it's taking me so long to make this video. Um, but I'm going to show you guys um, me doing it to the other headlight because I wanted to do this first before I was like 100% not sure. But I've already plugged everything up, tested it, checked, plugged them into the car and already unplugged it because I still need to um, actually cut a hole on the back of this because I had to run the wire through. And I'm going to put some gasket maker in there to kind of seal up the hole. Um, but yeah, I took it already back out just so I could do that. And yeah. Um, yeah, there's really no there's no videos on 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 YouTube that was showing people moving their HID OEM HID ballast and the bulbs and all that stuff over to your VLAN headlights. Um, so hopefully this video helps some people. Um, I'll try to be as clear as possible on how to do this 
All right, so yeah, let's get started. Let me first take off the the ballast and the bulb from the OEM headlights, and then I'll show you all that I did. All right. Cap off. the side, unhook the ground, this is a ground, this, this, me trying to get this bracket onto the, uh, to the actual VLANs was kind of like a, I had to play with it to try to make that work, but yeah, all right, I got that out, I need to un, let me unclip, these screws on the bottom of the ballast that hold the ballast into the OEM headlights, they won't work on the VLAN ones which sucks because I really wanted to use them, but luckily I had some leftover screws that were bigger that work. Alright, so... Alright. Ballast is off. Sorry if it's not focusing. Ballast is off. There's a little button on one side for the ballast this cord. All right, so this is one thing I you're gonna have to do is, and I, I I can I can tell you how to do it. I can't really show you because it's down in there, but this cord, these two portions right here that are connected to each other, there's a plastic piece that's holding this in, so I can't pull on it. I've tried seeing if I can wedge it out or anything like that, but it was not possible. You're gonna have to end up breaking a piece of the plastic that's holding this. Um, if you take a flashlight in there, you probably you should be able to see it. All right, so maybe you don't have to break it and you can kind of slide it out there, but I spent like an hour trying to figure out how to get around it. Um, get Because basically the cord on the inside is behind this bracket here on the inside of the plastic and I can't see, I can't feel. My hands are too big to kind of squeeze in there. So if I ever put these back, I, I, the wire will be fine. It doesn't need to be held behind it anyways. Um, but yeah, I snapped this piece of plastic off. Um, this one was a little harder because the uh, leveling motors or the motors to aim the headlights up or down um, was in the way on the passenger side headlight. The driver side one was on the opposite side, so it was easier to get to. I ended up having to go from the bottom with a flathead screwdriver and just pry it and just it like literally pry at it and it flexed and broke it um, that's what I had to do um, and then I got this out so that's out well, yeah, the next thing I need to do is like, I need to pull this grounding bracket out because I'm gonna end up reusing that in the VLAN headlights <sighs> And then once I get this out, this is pretty much done with this headlight. Like I don't, there's nothing else I need to use this headlight for. Um, all right. Let's see this little bracket. Um, I'm gonna put the screw back in just so I don't lose it later on if I want to go back to to OEM. All right. So there's the bottom. I have to cut a hole out. And honestly, I'm gonna list everything that I ended up purchasing to be able to swap this over. The whole saw that I'm about to show you how to use, the adapters that um, that connect basically. So like this this wire, like you can obviously buy a bulb, just plug it in and in there. But then you don't have the factory HIDs. Um, but this connector, all these connectors will end up connecting to this, which will power the ballast, which the connector will run into the inside to the bulb, to the HID bulb itself. Um, yeah, it's it's not overly difficult. I just wish somebody would have made a video of this. So, all right, let me first, I'm gonna start with drilling a hole at the bottom so I can, you know, get the ballast in. I ended up, so I can get a, like a straight line on here, I used a piece of tape. Like that. Like that. So, see this is what I ended up doing. Um, that way I know this is the dead center. So I picked up this hole saw from Home Depot. You can get it at, um, you can get another one at like Lowe's or something like that. 
This is a one inch and one inch and a half. Um, you can't really see it. It's 1.5 inches for the whole diameter. Um, it's just slightly bigger than the actual bottom of the ballast. What do I do with the ballast? For the bottom of the ballast, uh, so it'll be perfect. Just be careful because there is a tip drill bit, and you don't want to puncture too far in, or you'll hit the internals of the headlight. Um, what I've done is usually I double check to make sure there's yeah, everything's clear of the wires and stuff like that. But it looks pretty good, so. And uh, just so you guys know, I'm not really pushing down too hard on this because, like I said, I don't want to push into anything on the inter in inside and screw it up. So when you guys are doing this, be careful. Basically, just let the drill do its thing. Um, it will slowly dig into it and look, it cut it all out. There's this little tab on this side that you're gonna have to cut off, this little nub. It's like, it's supposed to sit perfectly, but I don't know, it just, it doesn't let this sit flush. So I'm just gonna take a razor blade and nick that right off real quick. Make sure you cut away from you so you don't, um, you know, cut your finger. I've done it before doing other things. All right. So what you're gonna do is stick this in. Cap that up. That was now. So I'm using these screws, they're just a little bit thicker. Alright, ballast is in. Alright, so let me show you guys these connectors. Again, these will be linked down below in the description. So alright, so here's the connector, this connector. This will plug into the ballast like so, All right? Then this portion will plug into this connector, like so, and look. See now, this will go into here, and this will power the ballast, which leads to this to power the bulb. But let me, actually what I need to do next is, all right, so here's the cap. I actually got, I'm gonna feed it through the bottom of this uh, little rubber grommet. You can actually take it out. Um, yeah, feed it through just like that. But I ended up, I'll just cut it, I ended up just cutting it up with a razor blade. Um, I'm gonna do this off camera so you can save some time and then we'll come back and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. And then I'll squeeze this, which then I gotta squeeze this through the little portion of the grommet here that I end up cutting, which is <laughs> kinda hard. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, so this is what I ended up doing. I did a, basically a next pattern, a next cross pattern, and then I just nicked kind of a couple triangles out there, so I have enough room to be able to feed it through. Um, so uh, let's try this. Maybe you guys hopefully can see. I ended up really just end up using like a a small flathead and just got it around it like that. There, and I got it through. So now I can, you know, plug this in and I can reattach this grommet, which, this portion, I will say, hopefully someone has a better idea how to do, how to ground this. Maybe someone that's actually, you know, works on headlights for a living and modifies them. But all I'm going to do here is mount this little grounding bracket. I'm going to take out this screw right here, this one, and then I'm going to mount, try to mount. I'm gonna mount this bracket to it so I can ground it to that. I will do it kind of away, uh, away from the camera, and I will, I don't know, I will show you guys after it's done so you guys get an idea. 
So what I gotta do is I'm gonna straight out some of these little metal brackets. And like I said, if you guys are watching this and you have done this before, please, I would love to ask or give me advice on how do you end up, um, sorry. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just bending the bracket. Just tell me how you guys ended up grounding the the HIDs because it's got to be a better way than the way I'm doing it. All right, that's how I ended up mounting the bracket. Hopefully that's helpful. All right, there we go. That's plugged in. Here's the cap. Plug that in. Tuck these beautiful, beautiful wires inside. And close it up. So the last thing I need to do is I should put some rubber sealant on the back of this so it's watertight, so there's no water getting in the back of this headlight. And then we're good to go. So, I'm gonna do that right now. All right, gasket maker unplugged. I'm just going to, but yeah, that's it. That's literally it. Um, you can pick up some gasket maker. This is actually some stuff I just had lying around from whenever I changed the valve covers, valve cover, valve cover gaskets on the G35. Um, so, it's, it's like $10 at AutoZone, it's just. All right guys, so I got the headlights back in. Everything's looking real good. I tested it, it is working. I'll show you guys here in a minute. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how the other cord or the wire for the day, the daylight running lights. All right, so this is where it's plugged in it, the, in the fuse. I have it running here. Honestly, I need to trim part of the uh, cap because right now it's kind of like smashing up against this when I try to close it so and I'm not really liking that I'm worried that I'm gonna break this wire but I have it running down so here's the connector for one end for the headlights that I ran it across zip tied it up against this um, I think this is my fog lights I think I'm not under honestly I'm not sure I just have it zip tied there I have it zip tied here again and it runs all the way to this other headlight there we go. So the light, it's kind of getting washed out and the lens is kind of dirty right now. Actually, let me see if I can wipe it down. All right, so there we go. Um, kind of wiped it down a little bit so you guys can get a better look. Plus it, whatever. Anyway, so you can notice the, the, the actual light itself is kind of yellowish. A 6K bulb will fix that. I think it will match better with the outline of the Audi style lights. Um, the only thing that I need to do that I'm probably will do a later. So yeah, I need to fix the aim of the headlights. Uh, I'll probably do that later. But yeah, I have it all in, everything's working. And yeah, so there we go, guys. guys that's gonna be the end of the video if you guys have any questions feel free to leave comments down below I typically answer pretty quickly if you guys want to get contact with me quicker if you had questions if you're trying to do this yourself hit me up on my Instagram my account information is down below uh, that, that way you guys can find me follow me there if you guys want to see some pictures and stuff like that of the Evo or the Z um, yeah, also, if you are more experienced in this and you guys have advice with the uh, grounding um, and have a better way of how to mount that, please let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, that would be very helpful just so I can have a better idea how to do it next time or even have to fix it or do a, better, do a better job the way I did it that way. I mean, how I have it works. No problem. Um, uh, like I said before, I need to also fix the aim of the way the headlights are aiming because it's really off right now. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, I won't 
have a video out, another video after this for a little bit. Um, probably be on a hiatus, uh, probably for a few weeks, just because I'm getting ready for the baby and stuff like that. Also, I haven't ordered anything else for the car. Um, like I, I've said in the previous videos, like I need to calm down on spending money. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Like I wish I had this video out for myself when I was doing this. But anyways, uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like like the video, leave a comment down below. You know the drill for any YouTuber. That's they just It helps out, guys. If you guys are still here watching this video, thank you for still sticking around to the end. Um, a lot of people like to skip around and not watch the entire video but all right i will uh, catch you guys in the next video and i'll see you guys later peace